So I'm at my friend Lou's birthday party, his 90th birthday party. And Micah Hayes and I know Lou and his wife Joanne because Joanne and I used to work together a thousand years ago at a publishing house when she was editorial director and I was publicity director. So when I get to the party, um, I don't know most of the people there, but there is one friend that we all have in common I'm looking for, Phyllis Raphael. And Phyllis was my writing teacher for many years. I told you all about her uh, last month in March, Women's History Month, when I was doing a salute to women who were important in my life. And uh, Joanne had actually introduced me to Phyllis when I told Joanne that I was interested in doing more writing. And she said, well, my friend Phyllis just retired from Columbia University where she had been teaching creative writing for 30 years and she was now uh, starting her own private memoir writing workshop. I said, I want to meet her. So she introduced me and I sent Phyllis some samples of my writing and Phyllis read them and she wrote back and she said, you have a strong voice and there's a vibrancy and a joy to your writing. You're in. Well, I loved her workshop and I was in it for several years and it was in Phyllis's workshop on the Upper West Side in New York City where I gained the confidence to become a writer. And it was in her workshop where I, where I birthed my memoir, Dangerous When Wet, and also started writing my second memoir, I Favor My Daddy. <clears throat> and I loved Phyllis's um, editorial comments when I would submit my pages to her and I'd get them back from her next week, the next week. And they were always written in uh, pencil, in, in cursive, in script. And after her comments, she would always end with, keep going. I loved reading her keep going. Because it meant that what I was writing was worth it. And to keep writing. And I did. So, anyway, I am looking around the party for Phyllis, and she's not there. And I asked Joanne, I said, uh, is Phyllis coming? And Joanne said, Phyllis died two weeks ago. Ah, oh. I wasn't that surprised because I know she had been sick uh, for several years with multiple myeloma. She was 87 years old. And my God, talk about a woman who kept going. She, uh, after her first marriage ended in the late 60s, she had three children. That's when she really became a writer. And she wrote for the Village Voice in the 1970s and, and 80s, and she wrote for several women's magazines, and then she ended up writing uh, novels and a memoir. She won uh, a Penn Faulkner Award. She was the recipient of three Yaddo Fellowships. And then she got married again and had a wonderful marriage. And when that husband died, nine months later at age 80 plus, she found a new boyfriend. And she loved to swim at her swimming pool in the Hamptons in the role. Phyllis kept going until the very end. So here's to Phyllis Raphael, my writing instructor, a fabulous writer, and a person who always kept going. True story. <laughs>